If you're thinking about moving to Baldwin County, Alabama, I'm going to tell you seven things you should know before moving here. You might not like it here. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tina Branch, a local realtor here in Baldwin County, Alabama, brokered by Elite Real Estate Solutions. If you're thinking about moving to Baldwin County, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified anytime I post a new video. In this video, I'm going to tell you seven things you should know before moving to Baldwin County because if you're thinking about moving here, you need to know these seven things. It might not be the place for you. Make sure to stick around for the whole list. Number one might surprise you. Number seven, if you hate water, Baldwin County may not be for you. If you don't enjoy rivers, creeks, bays, or the Gulf beaches, you might not like it here. A lot of the entertainment is centered around water here in Bowen County. I'm not saying you will have to go into the water, but if you don't like water, there is a lot you're going to miss out on. Boat rides, beach days, kayaking, fishing, shrimping, boat parades, relaxing on an island on a perfect summer day. Put it this way, when my son took his driver's ed class in school, they also studied for and issued a boating license in the same class. Number six, if you love the snow, Baldwin County is definitely not for you. It rarely snows here. We don't know how to function when it does snow here. Our county does not have the equipment to clear the roads. We don't usually need it, so if it snows, everything shuts down. The last time it snowed here, it was in the middle of the night. I woke my kids up to go play outside. 2 a.m. and the whole neighborhood was outside making snowmen and throwing snowballs because we never get to do that. Number five, you hate seafood. Now, I personally don't love shrimp. I know, don't shoot me. But I grew up eating shrimp like most families eat hamburger meat or chicken. My dad would go shrimping all the time. It was a way to feed our family. So I believe as a kid, I just got burned out on shrimp. But I do love other seafoods. We do have amazing shrimp and grits, I'm told. If you have never had grits, well, that's a whole nother video. Anyway, if you are from the north and come down, you have to try shrimp and grits with fresh Gulf shrimp. We've also got oysters and crab. We've got all the seafood you will enjoy. And if you're one of those people that just doesn't eat it, well, we have other foods too. You'll survive. Things to know number four. If you like to put away your seasonal clothing, Baldwin County may not be for you. If you're one of those who pack away your summer clothes during the winter, you're not going to be able to do that here. There are usually memes going around during our winter about how Alabamians are confused about what to wear during the spring, winter, and fall. We really don't have those full seasons here. I personally feel like fall lasts about two weeks here. I know this because there is usually only about two weeks a year I have to work to keep the leaves out of my pool. The rest of the year, they're not falling. Two weeks a year, they all fall during that two week period. Temperatures can be near freezing in the morning and 85 degrees in the afternoon and back down to 40 at night. You learn to dress in layers and keep your summer clothes handy year round. Number three, if you hate summer thunderstorms, let me explain to you a little bit about the rain here. There is no such thing as a light sprinkle of rain, especially in the summertime. It's either dry or it is a full on downpour. And the downpour will probably be around two o'clock in the afternoon. So if you are like me and you love to sit outside, and watch the afternoon thunderstorms rolling in, you will love it here. However, if thunderstorms are not your thing, you might not like Baldwin County. We have a saying here though, if you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes, it will change. Things to know number two, if you want a gigantic airport where you have to take a train from one terminal to the other, you're not going to like our airports that are nearby. The closest airport is about an hour away, east or west. You can go to Mobile, Alabama, or you can go to Pensacola, Florida. And both of these airports have only one terminal and I think around something like 12 gates. So if you're used to flying out of Atlanta, Houston, LaGuardia, or one of those airports where you have to show up hours ahead of time, you're probably 
probably gonna love our airports. Okay, so probably I shouldn't have put this on this list because in my opinion, that's a good thing. And the number one thing you should know about moving to Baldwin County is the people are friendly. If you like walking down the street totally anonymously with no one saying anything to you, well, that's not going to happen here. Every person you pass is going to wave and say hi or hello. If you are doing it for exercise, you will be required to wave at every passing car. If you're out walking your dog in the neighborhood, every single person will say hi. If you're from the north, don't worry, you'll get used to it and hopefully maybe one day you'll like it or maybe Bowen County is not the place for you. If you want to learn more about Baldwin County, watch this next video popping up. See you next week.